The city of Henderson is looking to ask residents for more than $20 million to improve fire department facilities. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will explains why the fire department is asking for more taxpayer dollars in addition to what they're already receiving. What we're having difficulty managing is getting a ladder truck to a fire scene within the regulated benchmark of eight minutes. We can currently only meet that goal about 50% of the time. The city of Henderson Fire Department is rated superior in property fire protection, making it one of only about 500 fire departments across the country. Fire Chief Sean White says they are facing difficulties because of large population growth and their current residents getting older. This has led to overwhelming call volume, especially in these areas. If we maintain our current projection and call volume, we will add an additional nine to 10,000 calls in Henderson over the next five years. Our existing resources do not have the capacity to absorb these additional calls. Along with aging fire stations and fleet, Five of our 11 frontline rescue units surpassed workload capacity this past year. And to address these issues, they would like to add two ladder trucks and renovate older fire stations. The fire department has built four new fire stations in the last few years, with a new one opening soon in West Henderson. They also continue to face staffing shortages. City Clerk Louis Valdez explains how this ballot would affect taxpayers. 230,000 registered voters here in Henderson are going to be asked to uh, pass judgment on that question. The question involves the passage of a uh, property tax that will increase uh, by six cents per $100 evaluation. This six cents increase would raise property tax rates from 77 to 83, while the national average is around 99 cents. Brian Will, 8 News Now. Tonight, the Henderson City Council will appoint a for and against committee on this exact ballot question. Now, the question will then be posed to the City Council before going to voters in the fall.